Now the camera says, hey, I need, a, I need an object to follow though. What, what object do you want me to follow now? Like, what position do I want me to track? I'm going to say, hey, we have a sphere here. It's going to be changing because he's going to be moving it. I should maximize it, dude, so it's a little easier for you to see too. And yeah, for some reason it's going backwards, though, because it was finding your hand before. It can't. It can only track dude by a foot of cue, a foot or so. So don't worry oh. too much with it. <clears throat> but you can see now the camera is kind of you know moving with it, right? So well, I forgot to do one thing. That is really weird. <laughs> it's not even a sphere. Well, it looks like <laughs> um, it's like an egg. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're having so much trouble controlling it. Okay, um, I meant to uh, I meant to create like a level for Jim. I didn't do that. I'll do that really quickly. And I'm going to skip one script, uh, step script so we can get to virtual reality and kind of close this off. Um, one of the scripts I was going to write for you guys was, you know, when you collide with those boxes, we have a collision detection. So basically there's an easy method on every, on every object where you can say on collision enter. And inside the, in, inside the collision script, you can, you can do whatever you want. So we're basically saying if, you, if I get collided by the sphere, I'll look up the sphere by the tag. Okay, I'll say, hey, the tag is the player. If I'm collided by something that's named or tagged the player, destroy myself. So if you have run into those cubes, you're seeing you're bouncing and stuff right now because they're physics being applied. So it's kind of almost an obstacle course now for you. But it yeah. wasn't meant to be like that. It was meant for you to just run through it, collect a point, and just keep going. So I made it harder. <laughs> made it a little harder for you. But um, okay. So what I'm going to do with the terrain here is give him a little bit of area to play through. So in the terrain, you can actually lower. Um, you can lower the terrain basically. Uh, it's hard to see with the light here. Um, Oh, because it's so the lighting has really changed now. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of hard, I think, but it's the best one. I'm making it pretty easy. That's just like a little winder, right? In, oh, yeah. In this part. Um, so uh, it lets you, if you hold down shift when you're doing this terrain creation stuff, you can drop the you can drop the height of everything. So in this case, I'm basically saying, hey, I'm gonna. I want to create a pathway for Jim to like do these mountains. Or he's not going to be able to, there's no way, right? <laughs> right. It's not, I think I made that hard for you. It's really not too many turns. Um, okay, uh, we're not going to get into that yet, though. Uh, I'm going to jump to this thing, kind of. Okay? I mean, I think you could, I think you could handle probably the ball at this point, um, moving it, you know, through. I created a huge, a huge road for you there. Yes. Absolutely huge. Um, okay, so virtual reality, we talked about this briefly. Um, the requirements are really high for it. They won't change over time, though, for the Rift. So if you're talking about five years from now, supposedly, would you still be using the Rift? I don't know. But its requirements won't change, so hopefully in five years these are a little bit lower uh, for people to um, use. So it's actually very easy. So you know, this whole presentation, I thought, oh man, it's going to be so hard to integrate you know, the Rift with this stuff. It's like the easiest thing I could ever, I could ever see. Um, enable virtual reality support, edit project settings player. Okay? So we're going to go back to Unity. We're going to say, hey, I want to I wanna get this to be virtual reality somehow. Uh, you go to edit. Project settings, player, and we see virtual reality supported. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. I mean, like, why is this so easy? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's amazing because you can use Samsung. I think Samsung and HTC have like a headset too, right? So yeah. supposedly, as long as their SDKs are all integrated, right? That's all you do. Um, Jim, you're gonna have to put that thing on now. So uh, yeah, you want glasses. So the first, there are a couple of things here. Um, you can adjust this device like forward and backwards. Um, and it has like, you know when you go to the eye doctors, they can kind of measure the distance between your pupils and all that stuff. So it can, it can do all that stuff to kind of calibrate it for the user who's about to wear it, okay? I'm not doing any of that, it'll take too long. Hopefully your eyes are similar to my eyes, that's all I'll say. You never know. <laughs> um, but the, uh, it, you, um, wearing glasses is a little bit difficult, so I forgot if you wore glasses or not, so it's good that you're not. But it's difficult to wear glasses with this thing for almost obvious reasons. I don't know if the final device will allow you to wear glasses or not. They're going to have to be very small. Um, you can adjust the thing to be a little bit forward and backward, and that's about, that's about it. Um, I'm surprised they can't compensate for your vision. If they, if somehow you parameterize it, put it in there, and skew it accordingly. It do, it, uh, it'll skew your, I mean, glasses are fine. Glasses will work as long as they fit. Um, as long as you can get your face in here. Well, maybe take glasses off and be able to have compensate. Oh, to compensate. That would be kind of cool. Well, whether or not they can do it, I don't know, but that would be pretty decent. Um, uh, yeah, so there are a lot of settings. So, I mean, it, it might not look beautiful. It might not look perfect to you because there are settings back for me, but it should be okay. So what we're going to do is I have a demo here, you know, how, when you actually install the Rift, it does stuff. But I'm going to try to see what happens if I just press play here. Now, um, can you keep it, let's keep it straight. Yeah. Because a lot of times what happens is it's not calibrated for center. 
So I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it play now. What we, we expect to do is, I'll show you uh, when I hit play what happens and see what it looks like. Okay, so it thinks that switch straight is. So without even putting it on though, right now, like this is really cool. See? Oh wow. So what's really awesome is, um, unless, after this presentation, I know it's late, guys, but whoever wants to try it on, please come over for a minute and just try it, okay? Um, <laughs> right after, because it does not demonstrate how ridiculous it is, you know, just by seeing it on the screen. Now, when Jim gets it on, it might be different. Um, well, he might feel differently. Um, the center is a little bit off, I saw, so I mean, I think it, if you want to play with that, it's fine. You can't see this thing easily, right? You can't see this at all, okay? You're going to have to right. use this to control. Basically, try to put that on. Um, <laughs> If you need help, I mean, it's not that hard. Okay. It's, it's pro, it's pro over your head. That's basically it. Yeah. And you can adjust up and down with your, yeah, until, until you feel like it's okay. Do you feel like it's okay? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is hilarious when he's in there. Yeah, he's laughing, right? Try looking behind you. Try to look behind you. Calling all gyms. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, are you scared yeah. or not? Because no, so when I, I plan it, I have the. No, yeah. this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome. The, I just saw this last night where I was creating the world, okay, and I, I put, accidentally put the. What's happening is, first of all, um, Rift or Unity has uh, given up the main camera to Oculus. So, whatever that main camera we had in the scene and we were moving it, you were programmatically moving it around, it's saying, fine, you know, Rift, um, that water looks horrible, right? Um, I, so basically that's one thing too, is the water, you're supposed to move it above the ground a little bit by default, it's just like sitting there. But um, when it, last night I, I did the same scene and I, I looked behind me and I got vertigo. I don't know what you're feeling, but basically with the sky, like I had a different background, yeah. Oh, you respond, yeah. So if I move forward, I don't know what you're seeing. Does oh. it, do you see what I see? Yes, yeah, yes. See what yeah we are seeing what you're seeing. <laughs> you're like a foot away from somebody else, you're going to pull yeah. the oh, camera sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, just so that you guys know, there's a little camera that gives positional tracking of where he's at, kind of, so it's, it's helping. I should use an accelerometer, I think, but I think this is also helping him, you know, figure, help figure out, you know, where he's going to actually look <laughs> It is so, it's so awesome, isn't it? I mean, isn't it? I mean, oh, yeah. you can tell he's acting, it's, it's got to be crazy for him to be doing something like that, but when I looked down, it was, I got all these game ideas in my head, like, um, pilot wings, like, pilot wings had a skydiving thing, right? Oh, yeah. It would be amazing to be moving through that, right? So, see if you can control a game now. You're pretty much still in position. Keep your hand as a fist, yeah, a little bit more forward. Keep it as a fist. So move there you go. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's the first thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing I want to show you guys that because Oculus is now taking over the camera, now we can't follow the sphere anymore. So there's a really quick fix for that, and I'll show that to you. And that's basically going to be the end of the demo before anyone else wants to try. And that's interesting. You're hitting physics. I think you're probably up on that wall, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you here. I know you're having a lot of fun there. <laughs> Might keep it on spine, but now it's totally black, probably, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, uh, to fix that, uh, to fix that, what we're going to do is basically create an empty game object, and I'll explain what's going to happen. But I'm basically taking this main camera now, and I'm docking it inside the game object, and I'm going to move that follow script to this this empty object, and I'll kind of explain if it doesn't make sense. Uh, remove component. And we'll go to the game object. We'll say add a component. We can actually we can just drag the script that we already have. So I think that we look at assets. We have follow sphere. We can just drag it there. It's going to say, what object do you want to follow? I say, I want to follow this sphere. So what happens now is this main camera, though. Um, so now remember, first of all, this game object is now going to be programmatically moved into the right spot. It's like the camera was. It was constantly trying to stay close to the sphere. Now this game object here, that this empty game object, is going to try to constantly stay where it needs to be. So what happens, though, is anything inside of it, like as a child, is relative now. So the main camera, it has this position that it's like negative 6, all this stuff. I want to move it right directly to the game object because if I leave it like this, it's going to follow the sphere, but then it's going to addition, it's going to add your negative two x, negative four y, and plus six z to where its position is. So I want to say, hey, you know, you're 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 relative to this empty object. I want you to be at zero 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 wherever that is. Now, what's going to happen then is if I press, press play, it should, yeah, it should. It's going to it has a little start screen there. Do you see that? Oh yeah. It's waiting for safety. Like, yeah. Some, some people can get epileptic and you know stuff with that, but and now I'm going to get epileptic. What are you doing there? <laughs> okay, so if you put now, it should be ready to go. If you try keeping your fist a little bit forward, yeah, a little bit forward, or you're going to fall, and not too far off. Yeah, so try, you don't need big movements. You don't need yeah, big movements. Yeah, just, just uh, yeah, hold, it, hold, it right like, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Yep. Yeah. You need some drama, man. <laughs> <laughs> you are, I did not create the level very well, and also it's dark, so you're, I'm going to start you again. 
And plus, I think that I messed it up. I'm going to make the level a lot easier for you, um, you know, because you doesn't look like you're very good. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, I, uh, you should. Oh, don't move your hand too much when you're doing it. Oh, okay. It's because it's losing yeah. the tracking on just it. Just yeah, it's losing the tracking on it. If I lower the terrain, I'm going to lower the terrain because it, the lighting is also being bad. So you want to walk through this place? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or try to. Try. And, and I didn't make it good because there's not enough. Yeah, there's not enough um, not kind of scenery there to tell you, you know, where you, where you need to go. Um, let's do this. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, okay. You can see that or try to follow that. Do you have a yellow brick? <laughs> <laughs> could download that from the asset store probably. Um, I could probably make that. Um, okay, so one thing I want you to do when you're doing it is turn your head. I mean, like you don't need to oh, yeah. keep it straight, right? So we won't see the difference really, but you probably will. Um, you probably will feel a little different when you're trying to control yeah. it. You can wait for that screen. So there's a little screen that warns you of all this stuff. And it just says press the key, I think, or it says you know, just wait. Did it go away? Yeah. Not as good as I was, I think. But you should still be able to get through there. You should still be able to get there. I don't know if that's the level. I can't remember anymore. So when I did at my house, you're going to have to go to the dark area. Sorry. You should get nightmares and stuff over there. Uh, you got to get back. Um, I had all the cubes lay up, light up. Because I didn't have enough time here to do it. We're already running over time here. Um, I had all the cubes kind of light up through the world, so it was easy to fall on. As, a, as like a little mountain. Okay. I'm sorry, it's dark. I mean, that's what's happening. I can add a light. Before anyone else tries, I'll add a light to make it easier for you. Yeah, but see how he's turning? It's very cool to see when you're in the game. You know, it feels like um, what happens is it totally encompasses your frame of view, right? So we all are getting into widescreen monitors and like multiple monitors and stuff now. So when we're playing games, it's like, oh, it's nice. You know, the frame of view is kind of encompassing me. Um, uh, what's interesting is before this, I'll just tell you a really quick side story. Um, before I uh, implemented this, I think it's definitely not sphere. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're having a lot of problems, Andy. Seriously. Um, I wanted to implement this cool simulation setup that had like a 180 degree FOV. So you get uh, multiple projectors and kind of get it to be a half circle around you. So when you're sitting there, you can't really see anything else. Once I put this thing on, I'm like, this is like trumping everything else because you can't see relatively anything else. And the, the cool thing is when he turns around, he, he sees behind him. So see, he's moving and you can try to go backwards now, Jim, and look behind you. I um, mean, you're off the level when you're that. You're totally not. I didn't make that a sphere. <laughs> this bothered me. I mean, it looks, no texture needed. It looks exactly like an egg. No, uh, now you're done, basically. You're done with it. Right? I think you, while well, you're moving oh, it up, no. you're done. <laughs> See, I think it, it's falling, oh, though, right? <laughs> and you can't, I noticed it doesn't fall you. <laughs> it doesn't follow you down there. I want it to follow because that really was freaking me out, right? <laughs> Well, because the Y is fixed, right? Yeah, I fixed yes. the Y. I didn't want to go up and down. You know, if I remove the fixture, you're going to go down with it. So, if someone wants to feel that, whoever next you know, wants to get on there, I don't think no. I want to. I mean, I'm feeling that. this a little. It's like, yeah, whoa. yeah, it's something you get used to. Now, when I put it on, I'm I'm used to how cool it is. That's why I wanted you to get it on, so I could get a different reaction. Otherwise, I have to fake it. I'd have to fake my reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Like, no. <laughs> he feels it. <laughs> It's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the vertigo, but it's like if you if you get motion sick, and you'll you'll feel it. Yeah, I think you can. I think you could. Um, let me show you a demo scene before I end it here for everybody, um, and I'll show. I have one or two in, in the slides. I want to show you the demo Oculus scene that you, you first run. So this is how you test the Oculus installation. Um, you show demo scene, and of course, there's all these other options. You know, how tall are you? Where's the what's your eye relief and all the other stuff, but. Again. And so, what I noticed is, for some reason, in a lot of YouTube videos and stuff, you'll see the dual, you know, you'll see the dual images like this. It's nice that Unity only showed one, so you can kind of see exactly what Jim is seeing. But I'm going to start. If you can look at the start menu, I'll start it for you. But when I first did this, um, it was cool because you look down and you're like, "Whoa, I'm sitting in a chair." <laughs> then nobody else can feel what you're feeling right now, right? But it's like kind of cool, like, "Whoa, it looks like I'm really there," you know? Yeah. Except your hands aren't. So that's where I try to bring leap into the scene a little bit. We didn't have enough time to try to fully integrate everything, but you could integrate leaps, your actual hands in there. So then when you're looking at stuff in the virtual world, you've got your actual hands you know, flying around wow. in, the, in the virtual world. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, oh, yeah. It's such a great waste of time, basically. <laughs> I like how it tracks your... Uh, yeah, wow, this is very cool. Oh, okay, so yeah, before I, before I let anyone else go, I know the timing's really late here, but I know... You guys are staying here because somebody else wants to probably get that thing on there. But um, let's uh, let's uh, quickly show you guys something. Um, 
you can use, uh, when you buy it for retail uh, next year, it's going to come with an Xbox One gamepad. Um, of course, a lot of people here probably already have, I hope, an Xbox One gamepad, but this is a hilarious thing. Right? I mean, if you look online, it's really not that expensive when you look at the YouTube video. It's called an omnidirectional treadmill. So look at that, though. I mean, like, you're sitting, and it's got, a little, it's got a little cylindrical thing to keep you in place, and you're walking, and it's got special shoes, right? But you're walking, you're running, you're strafing, you're jumping, you're crouching, and of course, when you watch videos of, the, of this stuff, though, you see, like, an army dude. You don't see, like, normal big gamer. Like, me, I can't run a mile right now, right? So, like, if I'm running around, like, there's no... You're going to keep me in shape, maybe. You know, maybe you can keep me in shape and stuff, but I don't think most gamers are going to fit on top of this thing, you know, like, start running around. But, yeah, they see, like, it's a physically fit army dude running around as their demos, if you watch it. But it's definitely impressive, I think, uh, when you see it. But I can't see lasting longer than, like, 10 minutes, you know, running around and thing. This is cool. Look at this thing. Did, 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 you see, did you see the... the... Uh, Mythbusters, where they, they they got an army guy and, and he had to do the entire first level of Doom, oh, uh, like wow. every yeah. weapon, well, an actual, an actual, carry every weapon on his body somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh, like, shoot them all when he was supposed to, and he well, did it. He, he did it. Did it. Yeah. So yes. he actually found the Doom weapons. That, oh, yeah, this yeah. chainsaw. I can't remember all of them. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. No, they they can't really carry one weapon in Doom. Right. <laughs> it's just, right. it's, a weapon, it's one weapon and a chainsaw. So it probably not that bad. But yeah. that's pretty hilarious. Um, but this is the last accessory I was going to show. Is it's, it attaches to the RIF or your 3D device. And this is hilarious. It's like the Disney 4D kind of stuff, right? Odor generator. It has a little pill, uh, pill, a little pill you buy, or six pills that you buy. And you can generate, obviously, I'm not going to list the different types of odors that you could probably generate. But um, vibration, wind flow is kind of cool. Hot air and water bits. So, you know, if you're running through a fire scene, it's amazing probably to feel, you know, hot air heat. You know, try to stay away. You know, try to keep away from that. You know, water mist. All this stuff is kind of like it feels like it's quirky a little bit, but I think it, it could be coded in a way that is kind of interesting. She listen to .NET Rocks. I have, yeah. They always say if you have five thousand dollars to spend on technology. Yeah. So now I know. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. Two hundred fifty bucks. If it actually lives up, people are trying to jump on Oculus Rift right now because it's not out yet. So everyone's trying to make money um, with the different things that they can connect to it. So that's it. So if everyone wants to, you know, to try it, and if you have any questions, I've run way long, but no one, no one may try it until you turn in your eval form. <laughs> Maybe we'll randomly pick one. And there is a, yeah. there is a prize. So if you want, um, we'll pick a random eval form, and there is something we'll hand out. Never, I've never oh, really? Yes. Very, very, very nice prize. Yeah, I didn't feel the verdict. Unusually like, nice. I think when things are really like doing all of this, I mean, it, your, 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 your body, it? your brain yeah. is like, what's going on here? Maybe that's, that's why you have to adjust the uh, eyes. Uh, yeah, I did. My buddy actually did for me. Because they say motion the same thing. You are though. It's limited to the same thing. It's a phone. It's a disagreement between what your eyes are seeing and what your body is seeing. My brother always came out with amazing time to put it in a box and put it around, but there's no interaction. So I think um, it's still on a boat, the same feeling a little bit right? Right? You know, you're so you have one? No, no, I've only been on boats. Yeah, he wants to use more of a small boat. Yeah, I think that's what you do. Uh, so you did it in three. Your body's pain is free, this free, and a paid version where you're using the free wings. Obviously, the paid version more. Yeah, you're probably going to be able to find the modification. I'm going to guess the free version. So I think if your field of vision is relatively like stable and constant, it's just a better. I know, it's, it's like, it's, it's amazing actually. Your body's moving. Oh, of course, the part is like, it's now not scaling more because the Oculus are saying now it's just super sad. I know, I guess that was sad. I don't know, I've been in both of them. I've been here, I would wait for the two versions of the model to play with it. You can see though, you don't really smoke the program. You can do your normal program, but you can just check the box and say, okay, let's go now. What's wrong with your mind? Okay, I'll give you the uh, I'll give you the, the, the demo thing because that's kind of interesting. Okay. 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 Anybody else want to get in the drawing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah